Okay, now, so here we have, like, this beautiful, like, this is my first Barbie style uh, doll. I was just about to get the first one, but I never felt like, I don't know, um, I don't know, like, I think I, I will definitely get her in the future if I find a good deal. Um, the prices for these on Mattel Creations are around $100, uh, but seriously, like, this is different in many other countries and normally it's much more expensive and that is why when i see like there are uh doll channels that i absolutely love like um my froggy style um i don't know my world um anyway uh, you name it um and they always like give you like the the retail price in america but but seriously this is so much more expensive anywhere else in the world um at, but i got her on a 30 percent discount uh around here so it ended up being um well it, it was actually uh 130 euros in europe which is where i am located right now even though like i'm moving places but right now i'm in europe so well anyway this is my first um Barbie style doll and I'm actually very su nicely surprised with the packaging. I mean the packaging is very like I think a lot of the money is actually going to the packaging itself in a way. I mean obviously also for the fashions which are really cool. Um but the the packaging is super cool. It's it's also like taking me back to the 90s in a way because you know the marble and mm, even the um fake marble pieces and things like that was like very popular like marble bathrooms uh with this you know aesthetic and then we have the logo of barbie and at barbie style for because it has the instagram of course and um and it's it's very consistent it's very heavy i mean i wasn't expecting it to be as consistent and i don't know because it's very thin at the same time if i will transform this into a walking closet or um i'll just have it probably displaying uh three different barbies or something because it has three uh different compartments on the inside um anyway so here is the back and as you can see over there this retail tier for 129.95 euros which actually is about 140 us dollars <laughs> so that is why i'm always saying like okay those references of course they apply um for the us but normally in most of the places around the world uh it tends to be at least 20 percent much more expensive anyway but with that discount she was 90 euros and 90 euros is actually the equivalent of a hundred dollars so i got her at a at, at retail price from metal creation so that that was pretty cool and and i was very excited about this one because I love her skin uh, complexion. I, I love the, the look. I mean, it's, it's very, um, you know, um, it's very Latina. It's very like, I don't know. There's something about her that I like very, very much. And it reminds me of J-Lo a lot uh, in a way. I mean, there's there's also like a signature J-Lo doll. And I don't know if they're like using, I don't think it's the same. The, the face isn't the, the same, but like, for example, this well uh, c uh could well be uh jlo from uh money don't coast the thing kind of video and this would be jlo if she was a millennial in my opinion so i don't know we have like you know um like classic jlo for me here and and then a, a a more current um vibe uh to to uh, to this doll so um this is the packaging and now i will open it um it has like this magnetic um thing that will actually clap uh very easily um and here you can see that when it opens it has three compartments so there is this middle one i wish it was like all transparent so again i could like display three dolls well anyway this is not this doesn't have okay so even if i were to display three dolls um i would still have to like pin it somehow or i don't, I don't know what i'm gonna do really but it's it's very cool for a collector um i mean i think that this doll is obviously meant to be taken out in a way because the the gimmick of of having these really nice fashions is for using it so to display her like this without even having 
you know, a proper look at her. Obviously, if you take this, you will. But she's she's actually wearing a t-shirt and um, underwear. So, I mean, she's not fully naked or anything. But anyway, it's it's like very styled in a way. It's, it's very... Um, yeah, it's very nice, like um, elegant, I would say. And then right over here, we can see a picture of her walking down uh, the street. Again, very J-Lo. Um, I love it. And then here we have the Barbie logo and font and then this gradient of color from pink to white. And then on the other half, we have her like um, just calling her um, girls and um, and here there are the four uh, releases so far so it's, uh, she was number one number two number three and number four um, again like I kind of love the two pieces um, suit uh, that she had and I love that those sneakers but um, I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it for like a super expensive price in my opinion so I just got this for like kind of retail price in the US, which is pretty okay, but when it's inflated, um, I, I don't know. And the other two, I like them very much as well, but with Barbie looks and everything, um, other than, I think the Barbie looks have like more amazing face sculpts in my opinion. Um, it's just that they only come with one fashion, but the price range, again, is totally different. Again, like I think Barbie looks in the US retails for $20 and in Europe is about 30 euros, which will, trans will trans um, it, it, it actually uh, converts to 35 US dollars, but it still like it's very manageable and here we have like uh, instagram i think it's a really nice uh put together box and so she's got this uh fashion that's like the jayla one and this is the millennial um one here that i actually like very much i think this is going to be one of the um most loved pieces from this set so um what i will do is like i will take her out of the box and i will get back to you with all the details and we will try this outfit and then we will try the outfit from colombia as well huh? okay so before i continue i just thought that i uh actually i have taken this out and uh here we have the certificate and the little stand uh that is also included and so i wasn't aware uh since this is my first one but you can actually take this whole thing and you can definitely display more dolls here or actually use it as a really nice box like again uh, i mean it's quite big but as a jewelry box or a trinket box in a way with all things barbies or maybe just to store like a lot of like Barbie fashions. That's what I think I will do because it's pretty white um, and and you can definitely store uh, Barbie uh, dresses and outfits and things uh, without them getting wrinkled. Um, so that is pretty cool. And it looks really nice. Like the whole marble thing, it goes all around. So I thought I would show you this. Hey you guys, so here we have everything out of the box and uh, all different things that are included. Uh, first thing is the certificate of authenticity of this Barbie style one. It's gold label. It's actually sturdier than the ones that we usually get for Barbie signature or Barbie looks or something like that. It's a little bit more, uh, yeah, sturdier. Um, and then this is like the um, stand, which is like the same as we're getting with the Barbie looks and any other Barbie signature one that is not a model muse body. Um, pretty cool. I think it's very useful. Um, and then here we have the lady in question. She's just so pretty, really. So, so pretty. Uh, I'm super happy I got her because um, she's, um, yeah, she's she's a very pretty doll. And um, she has these, um, her hair is very soft, although it, it has a bit of a boxed hair right after, uh, but it's actually very soft. And uh, there are like two different tones, like highlight in a lighter shade of brown, I would say, but, but very natural. Like it doesn't feel like highlights, but like natural, you know, um, natural different shades that a lot of people with the that, that 
our brunette uh, actually have these um, different tones like uh, for example blonde and I have different tones of blonde in my hair depending on like the the ends are always blonder or lighter and it, it, you know it, it just goes like that uh, but anyway so um, this is her she has um, stitched uh, these very fancy glasses that we've seen uh, before for a couple of Barbie extra dolls, I think. But this one, uh, these ones, these shades are actually a little bit more elegant as they are like uh, brown in color and a bit translucent, which makes it much more realistic. And then she has these two hoops earrings that are actually at an angle, which is very cool because normal, I mean, it's not like facing inside but rather out and as you can see it's they're very easy to remove so you can definitely remove them because they don't have um the little triangular thing inside so you can definitely change um her earrings with um other earrings and um and and that is super cool sometimes i just really don't like when they add that extra um yeah um no i really because my position anyway um but um but the hoops are really cool and the hoops are really j-lo as well like seriously i'm sorry i'm just uh talking about j-lo so much but seriously it reminds me of it not not probably as much their face but i i have like a lot of vibes especially with this outfit from the um love don't cost the thing kind of video anyway so uh she has a made to move body it's a standard size body so uh yeah it's not petite not tall is the standard size and for some reason i thought that her ex uh, that her skin complexion would be darker but in fact she's not as dark um i would say this is comparable to california tan ken and barbie i would say it's just that she's brunette and has beautiful um i'm going to try to get closer their beautiful uh brown eyes with the very elegant sort of like um brown uh, eyeshadow but very minimal the makeup is minimal which makes it very elegant again as well especially i think it, this this is very cool again uh, uh, same as barbie looks uh, when compared to barbie extra because barbie extra is more like flamboyant and you know just mixing up all the colors and making it and it's play line it's not collectors so it's it's more like uh, with things that will attract the the um the attention of of kids i would say and this is definitely much more um um mute uh in a way which is much more realistic and um yeah it's very realistic and that is pretty cool another thing though even though it's it's all like very kind of realistic i i i wish um her eyebrows were having like the individual hair uh, individual hairs painted that would definitely elevate it to to be so much more realistic in my opinion but um, that's probably something i will encourage mattel to do uh for future releases because she's very realistic but um i'm missing that um and then here we have the two outfits that we're going to be trying to have well first she comes with this really nice um just basic shirt that is like a dark a very dark uh shade of um uh gray and it does velcro on the back and, and then she has the underwear as well in the same shape and I think that this top is actually quite a nice basic piece to have in general um, and I prefer this to the tank tops in a way because this is so much nicer and it's almost like a crop top I mean in a way um, so again you can just mix and match and i'm going to like um make dress her as for the first look and the first and the second look and then the columbia um you know barbie look um although you can of course mix and match so many you know there's a lot of combinations like in the in a play line they would say 130 plus combinations or whatever <laughs> um so so you can definitely do that but i will use because I really want to see her using these as uh, in real and then uh, we will try these um, so these um, outfit has like a blouse in um, 
it's a very basic, you know, um, sort of like um, shirt, but very elegant and very like like an essential, I would say. Um, and the uh, the pockets are actually functional, which is pretty cool. And then it has buttons, and then there is a little uh, snap here, um, and then the tie is actually tight here, so I will have to untie it. Um, and tied it back uh, when when I try it on her, and then the, the the jeans are actually they feel as opposed to like other jeans that we've seen before for the fashionistas that are like you know very cheap material. This actually feels like denim, and uh, they're really nicely detailed with these um, you know uh, turn uh, beads around here. They're rolled back at the end. Um, they they have the stitching in. Uh, copper color and then these buttons in chromatic copper uh, super cool it, it also has like the the hoops for the belt and and all the all the um, pockets are functional this this is a very again very basic but very essential uh, and realistic um, outfit um, and then with this it came uh, this piece well I think that this I will show you when 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 I dress her already uh, because they're already still here um, they're still here in the in the packaging this is the second outfit there is a var uh, varsity jacket uh, with two different like there is I hope that this material is like pleather and then there is like this pleather that is softer and the very um, reflective one in the middle and then the bottoms are actually okay I thought they were printed but no um, they're actually pieces of plastic that are raised uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that okay let's see there is texture there because they are um, they're actually like bottoms uh, but obviously this will open this does not have like anything that will um, like a snap or anything like that um, it's actually uh, pinned together with a piece of thread and then there is this cat that is just super beautiful it, it looks like it might look from the pictures and sometimes from far away that it's like kind of a cheap uh, material but in reality it's a very soft flowy um, material that has like this holographic iridescent touch to it and um, there are like many colors um, on the front there are like more of like or at least for mine um, I don't know if this changes for every single one uh, which is they're really nicely put together because uh, there are like three colors uh, pink orange and tile uh, very soft and metallic um, and then on the back there are like more uh, colors and um, it's pleated uh, slightly um, you know having very narrow pleats and uh, that's what it is yeah so um, and then yeah this accessory so I will change her into the first outfit and then I will get back to you and I'll show you how she looks okay you guys so here we have the first outfit and I am in love this is like one of the reasons I really wanted to go uh, for her because I love these again it's just like seriously uh, don't you just feel the same it, this is like do you know the moment of the uh, love don't cost the thing video in which Jayla is walking towards like it's walking down the street and she kind of like uh, throws away I think the cell phone and it's just giving me those vibes so 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 much but anyway despite those references that i find uh like personally i find them there um it's a really cool look um now the only disappointment really might be this little like clutch uh purse but I have to say on its defense that it's not i mean it kind of looks really cool and then um when we normally get like purses and bags for Barbie in the fashion sets, they're very stiff and this uh, this stripe is actually very, very soft. Like this is harder, but the stripe is soft so you can, I don't know, you can, I think you can pose it in, 
in um, more realistic uh, ways than the... Uh, I think I have another one that is just so much more stiffer than that. Um, so anyway, she's having her shades, her hoops. Um, she's like very um, basic in a way, but very elegant at the same time. The um the the trousers are the jeans are amazing the blouse is amazing too uh and one thing i didn't uh, say anything about is that she's got a manicure with like purple uh nail polish and also for the toes like a pedicure um pedicure uh with uh, purple toes and my doll did did not have any problem with the heels whatsoever in the way that well now yeah now that i've said this uh they are very soft so right there the other one it's probably because i have it but that is very easily fixable i love this stripey um um i don't know they're very classic they go really well with this outfit and many other outfits i think uh, those will be the ones that i will actually try on um with the um dress from colombia so yeah i'm super in love like seriously she's, she's very pretty she's very realistic uh she's made to move she has very essential pieces that we can use for our barbie play and photographs and you know so i'm super happy and now let's move to the second outfit okay so here we have her uh wearing the second outfit and i am in love seriously uh these outfits are really nicely done and put together the varsity jacket looks a bit a bit like baggy on her but i think it was truly intentional and the combination of everything together again this is like um to me uh it's a bit like um as if JLo was a millennial, um, which, I mean, um, could be, could happen because you know that JLo actually ages like a goddess. Um, so I actually love how we have the, um, I have her um, on, on, on her stand and we have these like sock um, sneakers that we first, uh, saw them in one of the BMR 1959 dolls, the one with the multicolored uh, and the, the Millie with, with the curly hair that was tall, I believe. Um, but for those, they were like printed uh, BMR 1959 anywhere, everywhere. Uh, and these are a little bit more elegant and they look pretty cool. And they actually allow, allow a lot of movement in, in the way that they almost look like boots uh but then obviously as it's like fabric and the soles are plastic you can move it really nicely and i think it goes really well with the varsity jacket in particular i actually left the um the original dark gray shirt underneath and then this cat is beautiful uh she just looks like ready for um i don't know um any occasion uh in current times in, in my opinion and then again the number one uh amazing uh you know accessory is this beautiful holographic um i actually opened it because i don't know why most of the people uh that uh, i've seen getting this doll they're like oh it doesn't open because it has like a it's paint with it just a tiny bit of like plastic like you know like this was pinned together but if you open it uh, i mean if you just cut that it's definitely a, a, a fully working and um you know purse and um i mean and it doesn't look bad at all i mean it might look a little bit if you really want it to be like super close like i think that the reason they haven't put velcro here is because as it's holographic and transparent it will be very tacky uh but you can put like a little bit of like a white potty like a tiny bit if you really want it super close but as you can see it's pretty cool and i actually put inside the um the telephone uh, the i mean the telephone the, the mobile phone that um is very realistic um 
as you can see i'm going to take her out um it's just very very small very realistic in chromatic silver and then it's open uh on the with the um um um, Instagram of Barbie style um, as opposed to like the plain line phones uh, this one does not have like the thingy on the back uh, to be held uh, which is uh, in I mean in a way it has to its realism because it, it really looks like a phone all the way around uh, but then if you want her to to hold it again you might want to use a little bit of like that white potty sort of like thing and stick it there for for, for a minute or something so um for pictures and stuff so you can definitely put it to get i mean put it inside um it definitely opens it's a working one um and it looks so cool it has like this handle uh with like uh stitching details let's see right there um and it, as it's just i mean i think it, this has become one of my favorite accessories for barbie i think it's it's kind of classy in the way that you know the chain reminds me of classic uh chanel uh then at the same time is like holographic and um yeah it's it's super cool i actually like it very much and she can hold it like this and you can just put it around the shoulder so yeah this was like the whole uh second outfit and now we're going to be moving uh to try the traditional colombian um dress on her uh and here we have the final outfit that we're going to be trying on her and i think it's going to look uh amazing and i wanted to show you just very briefly that i do have the pamphlets that came with this collection um i'm not sure if you're like very interested in seeing like because this isn't in spanish because it's colombia the whole collection i have it in spanish but anyway it's a very cool uh sort of like um you know um take to um read a little bit more of the cultural aspects of the country different regions of it and it it's all narrate um narrated as a um like here she's saying that nikki uh went to study a few months to colombia i mean her friend and then um they she decided to visit her and they went places and is talking about the I don't know a lot of things are very very interesting once again i've been in colombia myself and it's a it's an amazing country and um i read this like um just like overall and i found it really nice really to be honest and um and the way it's put together like discovering the world with barbie it's it's kind of very cool and and it talks about the the um um you know the main cities the uh the fauna um super cool things really um and then here there is like a a little pastime and here it tells uh a bit more about the you know um where everything is coming from in a way um for this specific outfit that i believe um so it says it's like a traditional of uh, uh dancing uh festivals in bogota um so and then it, it tells about it yeah how it's been executed really cool so i mean these outfits uh did not come with shoes uh but obviously i'm going to use the ones that she's coming from like barbie style number four and uh yeah the flowers i think it's going to look really really amazing so this is uh we're going to be discovering many countries like uh with barbie like i will be doing that um using my fashionistas as well i made to move barbies that uh, mostly all the fashionistas i have i've, I've given them a semi-articulated body and i will be definitely showcasing uh so many countries so if you're up for it uh definitely stay tuned now i will take this dress out of the you know inner package and i will try it on her <laughs> 